Hello everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel or welcome to my YouTube channel. I'm Call Me Chris. You can call me Chris. And today is gonna be a little bit different of a video than I usually do. Um, I just kind of want to give you, I guess, a life update. I don't really have a plan for this video. I'm just gonna kind of spew a bunch of information at you and take it as you will, I guess. But I, I really enjoy being really transparent with you guys and um, I, I, don't get me wrong, I love to laugh with you guys and just be fun and all that kind of stuff, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm not just an NPC sitting here just waiting to entertain you, you know, I live a life outside of all this stuff too. So I just wanted to give you um, a little bit of an update on what's going on. And yeah, I guess let's just get into it. So to start off, uh, the thing that I wanted to say to start with is that my background will be changing because I am moving. I am moving very soon. You might see a couple videos after the of me in this space uh, after this video, but I will be moving um, not too far away, still living in Canada, but I have to move for a few different reasons. One thing I want to address is that uh, I, I made, oh gosh, I don't even remember when it came out, but I made this video um, of me getting into this current house and renovating it from top to bottom, inside, outside. Um, and, I, and I did that whole project, it took over a year. It was an absolute nightmare, but I'm obviously very blessed to even be able to be in this position to do that. Um, but anyway, it got done and I've been living here for um, like a year now, a year and a half now. And the reason why I never did did a reveal video or a reveal house video is that uh, over the past year I've been dealing with um, stalkers and uh, people that have found my house and uh, I've been in some pretty dangerous situations that I haven't talked about just because I've been scared to talk about it because I didn't want more happening um, and I don't want to get again into a whole lot of detail but Basically, uh, people found my house, um, specifically men, and I've had everything from drones being uh, in my backyard really late at night, like 2 a.m., 3 a.m., um, like scoping the place out, um, to people harassing me by coming up and um, uh, knocking on my door, knocking on my door and running away just to see if I am home. Um, and this, these aren't kids. These are um, adults. And there's other things that I can't talk about, um, but it's been, um, it's been not great and a little scary. Um, I love this house and it, it makes me sad to leave, but I just, uh, I, I, I have, my family lives in this house. My, my, I have my sister and my brother-in-law that live in the suite below me and um, they're gonna live with me in my in my other new house as well. So I wanna keep their safety in mind too. Um, so that's a big part of why I'm moving. Um, and, I, and I'm really excited to get into this new space. I think it'll be good. It's got a little bit of a bigger yard for Kevin to run around in. And I have chickens now, so that'll be really fun. And um, yeah, it'll just be nice to get out of the space I've, I've, I've just been feeling really, really anxious in. Anyway, backtracking. The reason why I didn't show what the house looked like and what the yard looked like and all, and all that is, is because I didn't want people being able to find where I am because I know that if you show anything in the house or around the house or if the, in the windows, people can pinpoint it. And I just just kind of I got a little uh, freaked out from everything that's been going on so that's why I just never um, showed where where I live exactly and and I will be doing the same thing in the new house I won't be like revealing what it all looks like I'm sure that you guys will see some of it in in videos and stuff but I don't think I'll be doing like a house tour um, just because I just I want to have that um, that that privacy because uh, because it, it got in a pretty scary situation and I just don't want to be in that situation again, but I know you guys will totally understand. Sorry this is all kind of more serious, because <laughs> the next topic is uh, a lot that revolves around uh, like my current mental health and uh, physical health and that kind of thing. Um, I'm okay, I've been doing a lot better than previous years, um, and again I'm just like in awe, in awe every day of this, this situation I'm in. <coughs> I apologize, I'm sick, my voice sounds a little off. Um, you guys, I can't, I like, I can't even begin to tell you how I, I wake up every day and 
two and a half years ago, I was a hairdresser in my parents' basement suite and so lost, didn't know what to do. And in the, in the worst place of my life, like it, every day I woke up, I didn't want to be waking up. And uh, yeah, I just, uh, I, I know there's a lot of you that probably are, have been in this, in that, in that uh, mindset or that are currently in that mindset. And I just, I just want you to know that you're not alone and I, I've been there and being in the situation I am now and reflecting on, on that, I, um, I, I just am so humbled and, and grateful to have pushed out of that and, and, and have done the things I've done now and I couldn't have done that without you guys and just know that there are better things for you. Um, but in, in reflecting back to that, um, there's an immense amount of guilt, I feel, uh, feeling the way I do currently, I guess, is the best way to put it. Um, because I have struggled with uh, my mental health for a very long time, since I was, you know, like 12. <laughs> and it's not something you can just turn off, it's not something um, a, an audience can fix or things can fix. Uh, it's just a, a state of mind, chemical imbalance, right? So it's it's been uh, rough lately. Um, and in that, I have uh, relapsed in my uh, eating disorder pretty heavily um, the past few months. And it sucked. It has sucked. Um, and I'm, I'm not saying any of this to gain sympathy. I don't, you guys don't need to be saying stuff in the comments below like that. The only, only reason why I'm saying this stuff is because I know when I was at my worst, um, it, with, with my ED and uh, with mental health and everything, I went to YouTube, I went to the internet to seek solace and, and perspective and relatability so I, I'm truly doing this just so if, if you're struggling with any of this just know that I, I, I am too and I'm really trying to work on it and I'm here for you please use the comments as a safe space you guys are an amazing community and the last time I did a, a mental health video it was so beautiful to see how many people were so supportive of each other in the comment section so um, but I've been I've been uh, struggling with that a lot lately and I'm, I'm really trying hard to get out of it and I'm, and I'm seeking help and um, I hope you are too if you are struggling with it and and the, one of the reasons I bring that up as well is because there's been like comments about my body and all that kind of stuff which you can't get away from on the internet I know that um, and I and I'm very privy to it, and I try not to read too much into it. And honestly, most of them are always so positive. But when you have an ED and you have these, uh, it's like weird. It's like voices in the back of your head constantly that you can't turn off. You see positive comments, negative comments, all this, blah, blah, blah. and um, they get jumbled in your brain and make you think things that aren't real and that kind of thing. So it's just. I'm trying to get out of that mindset and um, the people are always going to comment on your body in this kind of space so I, I just need to get uh, get over that basically <laughs> um, but I'm okay though I want you guys to know I, I'm okay like I'm gonna be okay I'm seeking help for all this all this stuff and I'm gonna be in a, in a new space where I'm really excited to make new and fresh content for you guys and I've been really enjoying doing the content I'm doing for you now whether it's the reacts or just doing chaotic shit or um, doing ghost hunting stuff with Selena I'd really love to start maybe interviewing people and getting really into the nitty-gritty of like some uh, celebrities or other influencers or other people you'd like me to talk to about their lives because um, I really enjoy talking to people and talking to you guys. Yeah, I, I, again, I didn't write notes. I'm, I'm kind of just ranting. Um, and this is kind of, I'm sorry, has been an emotional update. <laughs>
but I just want to relay that I am uh, so, so incredibly blessed to have you all as, uh, I like to say friends, <laughs> my audience. I feel so close to you guys when I read you in the comments and like comment back and it's it's really weird. It's a, like I'm just sitting here talking to my camera right now and but I'm gonna be talking to millions of you. The whole thing is, it's very strange. <laughs> I'm sorry I keep saying this, but I, 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 I can't tell you how grateful I am and um, how grateful I am to uh, the people in my life, um, Jay being one of them who's editing this video, he's truly one of my best friends and I'm so grateful for him and Selena and all of you guys, my family, um, yeah, and, and so many other people. This was, this is so much longer than it, than it needed to be, <laughs> um, but again, I just want to say that is my life update. I am moving. I'm not doing great, but I'm working on getting better and I'm really f grateful for, for everything. And I promise the next video will be much, much happier. <laughs> and it'll probably still be in this space. I think I, I have a couple videos coming out where I'm still in this space, but then I will be in my new space very, very soon. And I'm very excited to do some new stuff with you guys. So uh, I will see your beautiful face in the next video, okay? Bye.